Hello and welcome back to Profoto Vector. My name is Mike Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you a quick and accurate method for swapping colors in Affinity Photo. So here's an example photo here. If I hold control zoom in you'll see obviously we have a lot of blue going on here. Blue on the dress. So what if we wanted to change that blue to a different color? All we need to do is click on the image layer and go to layer, new adjustment layer, HSL, which stands for Hue Saturation Lightness. So because this is an adjustment layer, it's going to be separate from the image layer itself and therefore non-destructive. But we're not just going to simply change the hue or shift the hue here for all the colors. Let me come over here and hit reset to reset back to the original. What I'll do is choose a color here that is going to be closest to the color I want to change. So in this case, we'll probably go with the light blue, if not the darker blue. And you'll see already we have four little nodes here along the color wheel. So that is going to be a range of colors that we're going to be changing here. So because we're inside the light blue color, it's giving us a range around the light blue color on the color wheel. But what I want to do to make this color change more accurate is come over here and click on picker. So that is going to be a color picker. You'll see I have a little crosshair now on my mouse. And what I can do is just click and drag my mouse until I get to the closest color that represents the color I want to change. So in this case, maybe right here, the middle part of her dress. You'll see the range here will adjust around the circle. It'll change positions. And now if I come over here to the hue shift and I drag this around, you'll see now it's going to change any color that's inside this range here. So basically any color on the inside of the circle is going to change to the color on the outside of the circle. You'll see it's not going to perfectly match up because this is yellow right here and up top here this is more of a purple. So really this yellow is blending with the colors here. But I can go across the entire color wheel here and I can stop whenever I get to a color I like. So let's say we want to go with this reddish color. So the cool thing about this right here is I can expand or contract the range of colors I want to change. So I can, for example, drag this out and that's going to include more colors. You can see some of the background colors are now starting to change. So that's basically just including more colors in that range. And I can also adjust the inner nodes here and you can see that as I do that, it's sort of adjusting how these colors here are affected. So really you can just tweak this as little or as much as you want to include more or less colors. And then of course we can adjust the saturation so we can desaturate these colors, make them a bit more subtle. Or we can increase the saturation, make them a bit more intense. And we can increase or decrease the luminosity here. So we can go with a darker red or a lighter red. So feel free to play around with this until you get the color you want. I can also change this to hue saturation value which is just slightly different than hue saturation lightness. That's entirely up to you if you want to do that. So once I'm done, I'm just going to exit out of here. And something you may have noticed is it is going to bleed over to some of the other colors in the image that perhaps we don't want it to. So of course we can fix that by adjusting the range of color values inside of the circle, but that's not always going to totally take care of that problem. So sometimes what we need to do is add a layer mask to this and mask out any colors we don't want it to affect. So let me come over here and while I'm on the HSL shift adjustment layer, I'm going to click on the layer mask icon. So now we have a layer mask. I'll come over here, grab my paintbrush tool, make sure my colors are set to black and white. And I'm going to go with black for now. So I'll hold control, zoom in, and I can just quickly paint with this black color here on the foliage in the back. And you'll see that's going to get rid of that. And so we can do that with any portion of the image that we want. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.